वेलकम टू लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग एंड ग्रॉपिक्स फॉर इंजीनियर्स सो इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ ट्यूटोरियल्स वी आर डिस्कसिंग द डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग व्हिच इज द कोर्स रिक्वायरमेंट्स फॉर एनी डिसिप्लिन ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग सो टुडे इज आवर सेकेंड लेक्चर एंड दिस इज द first part of lecture number 2 and in this lecture we will discuss scales so in first uh, lecture we have discussed the uh, introduction of drawing and we have discussed the different types of drawings okay now this is the uh, scale is also one of the most important uh, topic of engineering drawing being an engineer we must know that what is what is mean by scale how it is constructed and how the information will be derived from different types of scales so in this lecture we will uh, introduce the scale the different types of scales and then we will understand the construction of different types of scales so before going into the theoretical discussion let first clear the concept of scale that what actually it mean so see actually in drawing we are sketching or we are drawing the different structure or different machinery component or different things in a sheet of paper okay now the thing which you are drawing the structure which you are drawing or the mechanical component which you are drawing either it will be very large than the size of the sheet or it will be very small from the size of the sheet for example if we take an example of a, a horse a real horse for example it is 1500 mm high and 2000 mm long then uh, we don't have such type of large sheet that we draw actually the 1500 mm high and uh, 2000 mm long horse so actually we are doing what that we are drawing 150 mm high in place of 1500 mm and we are drawing 200 mm long in place of 2000 mm so if you look so we have reduced the height of the horse from 1500 to 150 and the length of the horse is reduced from 2000 to 200 okay so if you look into that there will be equal proportional reduction for example the drawing is 150 mm height and the actual height of the horse is 1500 mm so we can get from that one ratio 10 it means that one unit on the drawing is representing 10 unit of the actual object okay so that is one case that we have reduced the dimensions similarly for example if we have to draw the uh, sketch or drawing of an ant okay so what we will do we cannot draw it in actual dimension because it is it, it will be very small then it will be difficult to visualize or take the dimensions of that object so what we are doing actually for example if the actual dimension of the ant is for example 20 mm okay and for example if we draw it instead of 20 mm for example if we draw it 100 mm okay so it means that we have drawn 100 mm in place of 20 mm so it means that it will be 5 divided by 1 or it will be 5 ratio 1 it means that the thing which we have drawn it is 5 time greater than the actual and here the thing which we have drawn it is 10 time less than the actual okay so actually we have that concept that either the structure or object or mechanical components either it will be too much large or too much small which which cannot be properly and easily drawn on a sheet of paper so actually we are reducing the size of the large object or we are increasing the size of the large object 
okay so that is the concept and this reduction in increasing that will be we can say that uh, there will be a constant proportion between the different dimensions of the object for example see if the height is reduced 10 time then the length will be also reduced 10 times okay this thing is most important that each and every dimension will be reduced or will be increased by equal proportion okay so this reduction in increasing from the actual dimension that is called scale yeah that is the basic concept of scale okay now suppose if you have drawn a map for example uh, we have the map of Pakistan now there is no information about the scale okay see if you can look into it for example if you measure it so the uh, length of this map will be uh, for example approximately that is 10 centimeter now actually Pakistan is not 10 centimeter and the width of this map is for example it is 3 centimeter okay suppose if you have drawn such map on a sheet of paper so on the drawing sheet its length is for example 10 centimeter and width is 3 centimeter but in reality that is not uh, 3 centimeter and 10 centimeter so how someone will take the actual dimension from the drawing dimensions yeah how someone uh, some someone will get the idea or someone will get the uh, values of the dimensions from the uh, sheet of paper from the map or from the drawing suppose if someone is interested that how much is the uh, direct distance between Lahore and Quetta okay so it, it sheet of paper a drawing sheet the distance is this much for example it is 5 centimeter so now this is 5 centimeter it sheet of paper now it reality yeah how much will be the actual distance yeah we can say that this 5 centimeter is representing how much distance so this is a question okay for example again let me repeat it suppose if we have uh, suppose if we have a drawing for example of uh, yeah, we have a map or we have a plane of anything of an area of an object or of a structure okay so for example if someone is interested to find out the direct distance between Peshawar and Islamabad okay so see at the sheet of paper for example that distance is 2 cm now how much will be the actual and real distance okay so the, now you can see in the first lecture we have discussed that the drawing will be fully and clearly define each and everything about the map or plane or drawing of an object or structure or mechanical component so here we have to construct a scale through which we will transform the drawing dimension into actual dimension and you people may have seen such type of thing in a sheet of uh, in a plane or in a map if, uh, you can you can visit yeah you can google it okay just you, yeah, uh, or you can uh, uh, you can see such type of things in any uh, official map or plane now here you can see that this is a type of scale okay now see for example in a sheet of paper suppose we have this much distance you can see for example suppose this much distance so through divider through divider take this distance so for example we take this distance so in reality this distance will be equal to 100 kilometer okay see the whole line is representing how much that is 200 kilometer so half of this that is equal to 100 kilometer so it means that if you take this much distance on a drawing if you take this much distance on a sheet so in reality it will be equal to 100 kilometer okay now for example if you are interested to find out the distance between Rolfendi and Gujarat the direct distance between Rolfendi and Gujarat so through divider measure this distance and transfer it here for example it occurs from this point up to this point 
so the direct distance between Rawalpindi and Gujarat will be 60 miles okay so now you can see that we have transferred the drawing dimension into the actual dimension so this is most important that you have to construct a scale whenever you are drawing uh, you, whenever you are making the drawing of structure or mechanical component or anything so the representation or the construction of scale is most important okay and we will discuss this is a type of engineers uh, this is a type of graphical scale okay we can we can uh, uh, represent the scale of a map or plane or drawing by different ways okay so this is the importance that for example if in a map or in a plane if the scale is not mentioned then someone will unable to take the actual dimension from the drawing okay so whenever you are drawing anything you will have to represent the scale okay you will have to mention the scale or you will have to construct the scale of that drawing now let's come to the uh, theoretical concept see as we have discussed that the drawing of small object can be prepared of the same size for example if we have a pencil of 150 millimeter then it can be easily drawn as 150 millimeter okay so see the actual dimension is equal to the drawing dimension so there is no need of uh, enlargement or uh, reduction in size okay clear for example if we have 150 millimeter pencil so it can be drawn as 150 millimeter so we have neither reduced the size nor we have increased the size so what will be this uh, we can say that the ratio see 150 millimeter is drawn in place of 150 millimeter so its ratio is 1 ratio 1 one ratio one means there is no reduction and there is no enlargement so this is called the full size drawing okay now see and it is not possible to prepare the full size drawing always we cannot prepare the full size drawing as we have discussed earlier that for example if we have a horse so we cannot draw its actual dimension because we have limited sheet of paper because the dimension or the size of the sheet is less than the actual dimension of the horse so we have reduced its dimensions and similarly if you are drawing the ant okay so its dimension is very small again if, if you draw it by actual dimension it will be it will be looking very small which will be not properly visible so we are increasing the size of the ant okay so always it is not possible to draw to make the drawing up one ratio one so therefore we will have to uh, proportionally reduce the dimension or we have to proportionally increase the dimension okay so when drawing are drawn smaller than the actual size of the object then it is called reducing scale suppose uh, as we have discussed that we have horse okay so the drawing uh, dimension of the horse was less than the actual dimension is the actual height of the horse was 1500 unit and we have drawn it as a 150 unit okay so we have reduced its dimensions okay so that is called the reducing scale and suppose if we have small component small uh, mechanical component or small mechanical parts for example as we have discussed an example of ant okay so for example if actually it is 2 centimeter and we draw it as 10 centimeter okay so the drawing is 10 centimeter and actually it was 2 centimeter so we have increased the dimension so that is called the enlarging scale okay so now this is the definition of the scale that the ratio of linear dimension of an element is represented in the drawing to the real dimension this is the definition of scale okay that the dimension 
on the drawing to the actual dimension that is called scale again see we have drawn the height of the horse is 150 millimeter and the actual was 1500 millimeter so the ratio of the drawing to the actual the ratio of the drawing to the actual that is called scale and we have reduced the dimension from the actual so this is the reducing scale okay and we can represent it is also one ratio 10 that 10 time we have reduced the size of the object okay and for example we have drawn uh, in place of 2 cm we have drawn 10 cm aunt okay so the drawing is 10 cm and actual was 2 cm so the ratio is what 5 ratio 1 it means that the drawing is 5 times greater than the actual so this is the enlarging scale clear mm -hmm. So scale is the ratio between the dimension of the drawing to the dimension of the actual object. Okay. So see, we will have three types of the scale. Again, if we draw the actual dimension, if you have the object is, for example, 10 centimeter and you have drawn it is 10 centimeter. Okay, the object is 10 centimeter and you have also drawn it 10 centimeter so then the ratio will be 1 ratio 1 okay so it is full size scale and see if we have large object for example we have large structure for example we have large object so then we are reducing its dimension so then it is called the reducing scale and these are the standard and recommended stand uh, reducing scale that either the object will be reduced two time or five time or ten time it will be reduced 20 time or 50 times or 100 time and for example if we have large maps for example if you are uh, drawing the map of Pakistan so you can reduce the dimension by 10,000 time that the for example if we have actually 10,000 meter so you can uh, sorry if you have 10,000 for example a millimeter you can draw one millimeter line so the drawing is one millimeter and the actual is 10,000 millimeter okay similarly in enlarging scale we are drawing the object larger than the actual okay so either it will be uh, we can say that 10 time larger than the actual or 5 time larger than the actual or 2 time larger than the actual see these are just the recommended and standard scales that you can reduce or increase the size of the drawing by this much ratio okay so generally we can say that we have three types of the scale either it will be one ratio one mean if you draw the actual dimension or it will be one ratio x okay x will be any value and this is called the reducing scale okay mean you have reduced x unit into one unit okay or it will be x ratio one that you have increased one unit into x units so this is called the enlarging scale okay full size scale reducing scale and enlarging scale clear now the scale is indicated in a drawing at a suitable place near the title okay mean suppose if this is a sheet of paper so for example this is the uh, boundary line yeah the border line here you will have the title block so in the title block here you will have to uh, mention that the scale of the object is for example 1 ratio 10 or for example 10 ratio 1 if it is reducing scale or enlarging scale respectively okay so full size scale a scale with the ratio 1 ratio 1 if you draw the actual dimension of the object okay mean there will be no reduction and no increase enlargement scale a scale where the ratio is larger than 1 ratio 1 it is said to be large larger as its uh, ratio increases okay for example if you have 2 cm object and for example you have drawn it is 20 cm so see drawn is 20 cm actual is 2 cm so the ratio is 10 ratio 1 
okay reducing scale is a scale where ratio is smaller than one ratio one here you can see that for example if we have 100 centimeter actual and you have drawn 10 centimeter so then 10 centimeter divided by 100 centimeter it will be equal to 1 ratio 10 okay so reducing scale is per object drawn smaller than the actual size and enlarging scale is the scale when the object is drawn larger than the actual size okay now see uh, how the scale will be expressed in a drawing okay that how you will mention that either the drawing is drawn uh, less than the actual dimension or the drawing is drawn greater than the actual dimension so you will have to represent or you will have to uh, express the scale okay you will have to mention the scale so actually we have three types one is called the engineer scales in this case the relation between the dimension and the drawing and the actual dimension of the object is mentioned numerically as we have discussed that see for example if you have 5 meter object so now you cannot draw a 5 meter line so for example if you have drawn a 10 millimeter line in place of 5 millimeter okay so then in the sheet of paper in the title block here you will have to represent yeah, here you will have write that scale is equal to 10 millimeter is equal to 5 meter remember the drawing dimension that will be written first so in the drawing 10 millimeter is equal to 5 meter in reality okay mean if you have if here you have a 10 millimeter line if here you have a 10 millimeter line so in actual condition in real condition yeah on the ground it will be 5 meter okay but and remember you will have to mention the units this is most important okay again for example if you have one millimeter actual object and in place of one millimeter suppose you have drawn it 10 centimeter so then the scale will be 10 centimeter is equal to 1 millimeter okay the drawing dimension and the actual dimension so it means that if you have 10 centimeter line on the sheet of paper in reality yeah actually it will represent 1 millimeter okay second type of scale is the graphical scale so uh, such type of scale if you have seen in any type of maps or plane that is constructed see the thing is most important for example if you have a drawing of this object for example okay and here you have represented that one centimeter on the drawing is equal to 10 centimeter in reality so this is a type of what this is a type of engineer scale now suppose if uh, this drawing is old almost suppose 50 year 60 year 100 year okay so then the map may be shrink okay it, it can it can shrink so if the map shrink and you have the engineer scale so then these dimension will be affected okay suppose if freshly you have prepared this drawing then okay the one centimeter uh, distance uh, the, for example that is one centimeter distance so it is equal to 10 centimeter now for example after 100 year suppose this line is shrinked so for example after 100 year this line will be uh, for example 0.9 centimeter so then if you convert it into uh, the actual dimension according to the scale so it will give you how much uh, suppose 9 centimeter so there is uh, there will be error okay so this engineer scale is not recommended for those maps which can be used for larger period 
okay so it, it so at that time yeah at that case then we are drawing the graphical scale okay so suppose if you draw if if here you draw a scale okay so if the map is shrinked then the scale will be also shrink because it is also a type of drawing so if there is changes occurred in the length of the drawing yeah in the length of a line of the drawing there will be also equal changes will be observed uh, in the graphical scale so then when you transfer the dimension then there will be no error okay so remember whenever you have to draw the map for long time for 50 year 60 year 100 year then you will have to represent or express the scale in graphical method yeah in graphical form okay the third type of the representation of the scale is yeah the expression of the scale is the representative fraction that is see uh, that is the ratio of the length of the object on the drawing to the actual length okay mean this is ratio uh, uh, understand the difference between the engineer scale graphical scale and representative fraction okay see for example if the actual dimension is 100 centimeter and suppose you have drawn it 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 is 10 millimeter then the scale the engineer scale will be written as 10 millimeter is equal to 100 centimeter this is the method okay remember there will be unit okay the unit will be given and the sign will be equality sign and if you are converting it into representative fraction so see 10 millimeter on the drawing is representing 100 centimeter in reality so now in one centimeter we have 10 millimeter so the units will be uh, see this millimeter will be cancelled with millimeter centimeter will be cancelled with centimeter and you will get what 10 divided by thousand okay now one ratio will be cancelled with this one and you will get what 1 over 10 uh, sorry 1 over 100 so it is equal to 1 ratio 100 so this is called the representative fraction and remember whenever you are expressing the representative fraction so there will be ratio and there will be no unit because the unit is cancelled with each other okay and whenever you are expressing the scale is an engineer scale then there will be equality sign and there must be units okay see again um, another thing suppose if the actual distance is 20 feet and you have represented it for example 2 inches so 2 inches on sheet of paper is equal to 20 feet of actual dimension so this is scale see there is equality sign and there is unit this is called what this is called scale what will be the representative fraction of this scale so see 2 inches divide by 20 feet and we know that in one feet there is 12 inches okay so when you simplify it you will get one ratio 120 just simplify it so the the representative fraction is one ratio 120 this is called the representative fraction remember there will be ratio and there is no need of unit so this is the representative fraction and this is the scale okay length of the drawing divided by the actual length and see if you have same units it will be cancelled and you will have just a ratio okay see uh, when one centimeter long line in a drawing represent one meter of the actual object okay actual object is one meter and in a sheet of paper you have drawn at one centimeter so it means that one centimeter is representing one meter so one centimeter in one meter we have hundred centimeter so the unit will be cancelled with each other 
and it will be 1 over 100 or it will be 1 ratio 100 so see this is scale that 1 centimeter of drawing is equal to 1 meter of actual this is scale and this is the representative fraction similarly the uh, representative fraction of a greater than unity for example 2 millimeter long line of an object is shown by 1 centimeter mean in actual we have 2 millimeter and in drawing we have 1 centimeter so see the scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 2 millimeter this is scale and the representative fraction will be 1 centimeter divided by 2 millimeter so see in 1 centimeter we have 10 millimeter divided by 2 millimeter so the units will be cancelled and it will be what 5 divided by 1 or it will be 5 ratio 1 so this is the representative fraction okay representative fraction is the ratio of the length of drawing to the actual length of the object mean it is a ratio and ratio have no units representative fraction will be in the form of x ratio 1 okay x is the unit on the drawing and y is the unit of, of uh, y is the actual object so when you have one ratio y so it will be reducing representative fraction and when you have uh, when you have suppose uh, yes y ratio 1 it will be enlarging representative fraction okay so actually we have two system of units one is the matrix system and second one we have the uh, APS system so if you are using the matrix system or the SI system then the uh, recommended reducing scale will be either half of the actual or five time from the actual or ten time twenty time like this one okay and the enlarging scale will be either it will be two time greater than the actual or five time or ten time and so on and if you are using the APS system then the uh, fraction will be two time or three time or four time see here for example if you are using fraction okay so suppose if we have one unit yeah for example if we have one inch distance so this will be half inch this will be this will be again see suppose this is one inch distance okay so this will be uh, half of an inch this will be the fourth uh, part of an inch this will be the eighth part of an inch okay so see the inch is reducing gradually from from one to uh, we have reduced two time or it is reduced fourth time or it is reduced eighth time so this is fraction now see this is the sixteenth part one over sixteenth okay and this is the one word 32 okay similarly in decimal in decimal we are taking it with respect to 10 see suppose that is 1 this is 0 0.5 and this will be 0 0.1 mean it is the 10th uh, part of this distance 10th part okay so then we are going in in this thing like suppose 1 or 1 by 2 or 1 by 2 10 or 1 by 100 okay 1 by uh, we can say that 1000 so these these are the decimal and in fraction we are going uh, from 1 to 1 by 2 or 1 by 4 1 by 8 1 by 16 and so on okay so uh, this was the first part of lecture number 2 in which we have just introduced the scale that what is scale why it is important in how the scale will be converted into representative fraction okay and uh, the different types of the scale the lecture is continued thank you